Here's a rumor you're going to hate. How about Dan Quinn to the Denver Broncos? Mike Fisher reporting on NFL Week 17. Dallas Cowboys getting ready to host the Arizona Cardinals. But uh, this is going to be a rumor that's probably going to really get traction on Sunday morning when the networks uh, start yapping about the idea of Dan Quinn moving out of Dallas. And as I've explained to you, the possibility continues to exist despite the fact that there's some in Cowboy Nation that think that he is spurned temporarily, and I'll have more on that in a little bit, uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars temporarily, that this is because he's a cowboy for life. That's really not how this works. I appreciate some of you commenting saying, Fish, you don't know what's in Dan Quinn's brain. Well, you know, maybe I do. But uh, I'm also trying to figure out what's in the Denver Broncos brain. This comes uh, in the frame from me as a rumor. And I'm going to hashtag Cowboys rumor this to make sure that uh, we don't make more of it than it is. Dan Quinn, highly coveted defensive coordinator of the Cowboys. I think that will be true, especially if the Cowboys season continues on this road, is being connected to the Broncos. But the ifs are everywhere here. This belongs in the rumor category because, and you'll understand what I mean when we play the connect the dots game, which is all that the media or one member of the media is really doing here. Here goes. Let's do the ifs first. The origin of the rumor is, and I'll say this politely, a buyer beware one. It's Pro Football Network insider Tony Pauline, hey, uh, who's saying that Quinn is considered in NFL circles as a potential candidate to become the next head coach of the Broncos. If number two, the Broncos have made no decision to fire Vic Fangio. They're seven and eight as we sit here today. Uh, they are involved in the AFC playoff chase. They have no reason to have thrown this gossip around the NFL. No reason at all, uh, let alone that uh, NFL circles. It's not, it's not, not exactly a source, is it? NFL circles. Item three, conventionally, teams don't fire a defensive-minded head coach and then hire another defensive-minded head coach. I haven't done a big study on this. I'm not saying it's never happened. It's not conventional. Fangio, like Quinn, has a background of being a defensive coordinator. It seems more likely that Denver, if it parts ways with Fangio uh, on Black Monday, after that week 18 game, by the way, I think they play the Chiefs that game. I think they got Chargers Chiefs in their last two games. So I don't know that things look great for Denver making the playoffs. If they do part ways with Vic, it seems more likely they would lean towards an offensive background guy, which would put, in theory, Kellen Moore in play there as an interviewee. If they ever even pulled the trigger on assembling such a list. Having said that, what about the connect the dots thing? How does this work? So Tony Pauline A hey, points out that Quinn worked with the Broncos general manager years ago in Miami, so they have a relationship, dot, dot, dot. I don't know that. I know that they may have worked together. I don't know that they have a relationship. I don't know that they like each other. Uh, uh, we'd have to go back and look at what exactly did George do back there in Miami and what exactly did Quinn do there in Miami and how much time did they spend together and did they work side by side and do they like each other? I don't know. Additionally, it's worth noting that Patton, uh, the, uh, the general manager in Denver, did inherit Fangio and like most GMs, he'd like to eventually hire his own guy. Denver is the second possible Suter connected to Quinn. We know about the Jaguars uh, and their desire to interview him. We know he turned them down. Now we know more about why he turned them down. And I'm sorry, it ain't because he's cowboy for life. Uh, stay with us this weekend and I will fill you in on that. Thank you for subscribing to what we do here. Cowboys Nation, you are appreciated. Happy New Year. We'll see you uh, later in the day. We'll also talk about uh, Dak Prescott. Run, Dak, run. And whether or not the Cowboys in this game against Arizona should be thinking about load management for one of their biggest stars. Stay tuned. We will fill you in. For now, Fish in Frisco, out.